Mr. Conway and I are out here in the Topaz Ranch Estates, Smith Valley, Nevada, cleaning this almost empty modular home with some pretty worn out polyester carpet. Got some uh, Fifi spots, a lot of wear, you can see where the furniture was. What are you messing with there, Tom? My shed key. Oh, yeah, this place comes with a with a uh, pretty impressive tool shed. I'll show you in a second. A lot of PP in the hallway here. So we're going to test Tom's new wands here, the inch and a half. They left this bed for some reason. And Tom's going to get to use a CRB for the first real time. Maybe we'll uh, clean this grout too. Comes with that shed over there, which is, the guy says he can fit 11 cars in there. Concrete foundation, pretty much two story. So something like this out here sells for, well, it's on five acres, sells for, I think he said 260. Wow. Pretty good deal. Yeah. All right, gotta get the work so Tom can get home before midnight. Tom's uh, virgin outing with a uh, CRB. Doesn't even know how to turn it on. <laughs> I know how to turn it on. So we got, <laughs> let's have you try it first. Push oh, it, push that down, man. push it down. Gotcha. You're gonna try it. That's about stock height, how they used to be. There you go. Pick it up, pick it up, there you go. So again, polyester carpet, we're using the stiff brushes. Okay, and what do you think of the uh, the handle length? Too low. Too low, right? But that's how they were all sold for a, uh, my big mouth. All right, stop it. And then raise it up to that highest setting, which is still an inch short of where I think it should be. Yeah. It was easy before, but it's just more Yeah. Comfortable. Much quicker, more comfortable, and you I think it puts more the weight on the head too. Yeah. Fluffing that this thing's really matted. Super matted. Who knows when it was vacuum last. This is the house that gave me that Kirby when I came out here uh, before they were ready. I don't think, well, I know they never used it. They just didn't want to travel. Huh? Who wants to go to the side? To the well, that's the poly. Yeah, poly. Yeah, it does that with vacuums and everything. Okay. It's a wand, too. So I'm uh, spraying away with the works using a powdered peroxide Kenspec Enzol combo on this one. Well, what do you think of that sprayer? It's pretty cool. Kind of heavy? A little heavy. Heavy on the hand. What would you change about it? Uh, you should tell? You should tell, yeah. It seems like it's a little heavy. You gotta hit these PP spots with the 40. Oh, there's so I much peroxide in it, did you? Yeah, okay, I did. Okay, cool. Well, we did some experimenting. We used the inch and a half tube with the 14 inch head. Uh, with a whip hose, without a whip hose, with this adapter. Compared it to the Sapphire inch and a half with two inch flare. And then went to the two inch all the way for the, for the best performance. The Devastator tube with a 14 inch head and this adapter, obviously it was making the thing too long, but it had a nice, nice hum going. But uh, the best balance is really a, a 12 inch head with an inch and a half tube. We do that with a flared end. That one will clean every bit as well as this two inch, I think. Uh, It'll be the perfect balance. But for now, I'm going to keep it in the 2 inch, which feels pretty funny. It's been, uh, been quite some time since I've used a 2 inch wand. 
And the biggest difference is wrapping my hand around it, which I've been having some hand and figure, finger issues, which may be due to the smaller wand. They got 30, whatever, 29, 30 years and using a two inch wand. Excuse me, it's hot out here. But yeah, it's a, uh, well you can see the carpet we've done so far. It's a lot of wear, fading, nastiness, but it's, it's cleaned up well. As well as a, well that's, that's CRBing and wanding. I think we'll save this last room for uh, the rotovac brush head. And then we'll wand and, or CRB and wand these, the hallway and three little bedrooms. Tom's never used the brush head, so we'll save the bed, this uh, living room for that. But we're running uh, 500 PSI and the little 370s, keeping up the heat. Tom, what kind of heat were we averaging? Huh? What kind of heat was I averaging when I was on the wand? Uh, 190, 200, a little bit above 200. Even at 500? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's not boiling hot today, but it's probably, uh, actually it's on the cool side, breezy out here. Probably in the high 80s. Out here on the high chaparral. Tom thinks uh, the 370 is putting out a little more heat than his legend. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how, how soon Tom can get that 12 inch. Hopefully in time for... Scottsdale Fest. In the meantime, I will continue on with this monster. She's a beauty. Let's check out how the man himself uses a wand. This he turned out to be one of them Bob Botter wanders that does a little 16 inch stroke and then kick him out of here. Everybody wands a little different. It's a long wand now. How, how much longer than normal? Three, Three. inches? Wow. All right, the moment of truth. Tom comes out of the closet. Standing further back than normal. A little bit. Yeah. You got the uh, Mikey's board approved backstroke taste. So how how fast does Damon pull that thing back? Like that. In his mind, that's probably know. really slow. I don't know, man. <laughs> that guy's on full blast. I didn't get to see him wand, but Marty said he was just rip roaring through that uh, Ronald McDonald. I, I know he runs with his uh, CX-15. Runs with it? Yeah, he runs. The twirler thing? Yeah. Really? <laughs> it takes a village. All right, man, you pass with flying colors. It's a good wand stroke. Uh-oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. How come your dry stroke doesn't extend back further than your wet stroke? About two inches. The wand's too long? Yeah. This is Tom's first time using the 360i and or the brush head. We're coming up right on the spot that was CRB'd and wanded. See if it makes any difference. Pretty worn carpet, crappy polyester. What do you think, Tom? Any different? I'm not seeing any. Obviously, we still got to groom this out. Look like a natural with that thing. You've had a 175 before, right? Yeah. You still use one for scrubbing? Yep. It's a whole lot less torque, but some people can't figure these things out the first time they use it. 
actually pretty light. Nice, huh? Yeah. Yeah, if that thing doesn't do it, it's just time to replace. It ain't coming clean. Look at the texture difference. That's pre-spray, back in the pre-spray. That's uh, brush head clean. But it's really mad. It's so matted that the vacuuming barely made a difference to the pile because it's just so crushed down and they've been running. That's silly thing on it. Probably just a pick up dog pee out of that hallway which is really stinky, horrible shape. Whoever moves into this place is probably gonna pull this carpet out. Well Tom we're almost done man you got to try all the toys. I got to try the toys. 370 does very well. 360? Oh the 370 yeah. yeah. 36 guys, pretty cool, cool. Definitely like a brush on it. Yeah. Look at the carpet. Perfect for this stuff. Overkill for a lot of carpets. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, in the case of this job, the CRB and Juan probably did 98% as good. Yeah. Went, went a little bit quicker, I guess, because we still got to go over this with a wand to hit the corners, edges, and Maybe some additional moisture. But we never saw the hose go black like it does in a, in a restaurant or someone's house that never vacuums. Very true. Vacuum, or this slight hose will just uh, go pitch black or brown. Well, we were in here working and uh, never noticed the dip in the sunlight during the super eclipse. Kind of a letdown, but we forgot anyways. <laughs> well, I got one more job to do. We gotta send Tom home. He's got a five hour bike ride. Be nice and cool in those black leathers. If we get up to elevation, you'll be all right. Five hours, huh? You better haul ass, you might be able to do it in four. <laughs> or you can spend the night, get an early start, up to you. Oh yeah, I'm going to drive five hours to go through carpet? Yeah. Oh, great. You're all perky. So let Damon do them. That guy can do like 12 jobs a day, can he? Oh. A mighty 870, two wands in each hand. <laughs> four of the door, isn't that what he's doing? Be running two wands with the Rotovac uh, twin twin track power track. Oh yeah, the power track. What's that thing called? Wide track. Come on, guys! Can you believe it? Bonzer doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Good freaking Roger. That wide track thing, all the knuckles. All right, we're going to wand this thing out and call it quits. We'll see you all in Scottsdale in sunny Arizona in uh, two months. Well, Tom's gone. He's halfway home on his bike. And went to do another job. And he changed his, his logo and now it represents like a target. It's like something the Punisher, that other sniper superhero. Originally it was a D, now it's a target. And I gotta say, man, it's very fitting for this wand because this thing, he just nailed it. And it is right on target. Uh, he added an extra three inches to the, the main section because of my height. And we first tried it this morning. It was you know, a bit of a shocker because I didn't use a wand this long. Actually, I have a, one of the very first ProChem Titaniums from 1999 that had a six inch section welded in. I'm not sure how much longer it is than this one. It's definitely not three inches longer. But uh, you can see what I'm able to do here in this empty room. And it's added about a foot to my stroke where I'm still standing straight up. So for empty homes, or large rooms, total plus, 
And I haven't used a two inch grip wand in quite some time, except when I'm visiting my guys in Santa Cruz, and the last time I did that, I actually brought my little uh, sapphire. And I've been having some finger pain, especially my ring finger. And I think it's from grabbing this too skinny a wand. They got big mitts. So I think this might be a relief, which is uh, very good news. But uh, not only have I not used a two inch wand in a while, I've been using a 14 inch. Everything does go faster. And the, the 370 does seem to be keeping up. I'm only needing to do one wand stroke, according to the great jelly lie detector. I'm running 500 PSI at eight flow. And uh, you know, the, the 370 recovers its heat very quick. By the time you do a dry stroke, it gets it up there to, geez, I don't know, we were watching that earlier. It got up to like 260 or so. And then as you start cleaning, it drops down to 190, which is fine. 190 is plenty. But, jeez, uh, man. I've, I've used almost every wand in existence. And I'll say it again. Mr. Conway has built the best carpet cleaning wand to date. The secret's in the head. And the stiff swivel. It only swivels when you tell it to. Unlike all the competition, which just flounder and spin around with no resistance. This one just goes when you tell it to and boy it saves your upper body strength like you wouldn't believe. It does not fatigue you and you don't have to run your hand on the assist handle. It's just kind of nice to hold this state-of-the-art uh, PNF assist handle. But uh, I'd rather not on the forward stroke. So, Tom, thank you very much for personally delivering this gem of a wand. I see a lot of good use. I think you need to add the target to that D. Bravo, buddy. Bravo. Hope you get home safe. And we'll see you in October.